balloon. Balloon, balloon, balloon! Ooh, pigs are so easily amused. Now, Angora. Here's some more plates and cups. I found the streamers. Got more balloons. What exactly is going on around here? Haven't you heard, Angora? There's going to be a big, big, big party! And there's going to be food, Ooh. music, and food, and decorations, and food, and... <laughs> you all right, Teeny? Loud noises scare me, Shep. I, I can't help it. I've always been that way. <laughs> Teeny can't control the reaction on Gora. It isn't nice to laugh. Hey, everybody. Let's meet in the arena after lunch and practice the show we're putting on for the celebration. Just found out the local TV station's going to be here. Awesome! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exciting! Ooh, TV. Like anybody's gonna see you when I'm around. How's my hair look? If you must know, like something the cat dragged in. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Whew. What? That sounded like... Is it? Chase? Chase! 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 Who's Chase? Beats me. First I've heard of him. Chase, is it really you? Unless somebody's doing a good imitation. I can't believe she's been keeping a boyfriend secret all this time. Why didn't she tell us about him? Maybe it's because that's her cousin, not her boyfriend. Ah. He called yesterday and said he was coming by. Wanted to surprise Sarah. Hey, Chase, I'm Will. Hey, Will. Thanks for keeping my surprise a secret. You knew Chase was coming, Will? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Guess so. Chase, you're always full of surprises. Who, me? Anyway, I'd like you to meet my friends. Here's Molly, Alma, Chloe, and Zoe. Hey, I'm Chase. That's a cool name. This is my horse, Wander. <laughs> he is wonderful. So how long are you here for, Chase? How about as long as you can stand me? <laughs> You're silly. At least through this weekend. Hey, Sarah, maybe Chase could ride in our show. We could use more riders. Hey, yeah. that'd be great. Well, what do you say, Chase? Hmm, let me check my calendar first. Well... It looks like if I juggle a few things, a show is a can-do for me and Wander. Oh, great. Now we have to share the spotlight with somebody else. And how are we going to stand out next to that? I have some errands. Why don't you get Chase settled in? Then Bailey can help you practice for the show. Come on, Chase. Let's find a stall for Wonder. OK, now, the show routines are in this handbook. We'll practice the moves a step at a time till we have a memorized. Here you go, Chase. That's okay. Thanks. I'll pick it up quick. You guys start and I'll catch on. But none of us know the routine, Chase. We're all reading it for the first time. Hey, don't worry. I'm smarter than I look. I'll get it. Without this. Okay, suit yourself. <laughs> Okay, everybody. Move to... Oh! Hmm. Oh! Move three. Oh! Oh! Huh? Move three. Right. Whoa! Careful, Chase! Sorry, Zoe. I'm Chloe. No, Chase, left! Hey! Ah. Watch it, will ya? My bad, Chloe. I'm Zoe. Chase, is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Um, more or less. Mostly less. Maybe it'd help if you follow the book. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Let's try it again. From the top, move number one. 
No! Hold it, Chase! Wrong way! Join the circle. <laughs> oh, right. Hmm. What's up with Chase? Would you please be careful? Sorry, Zoe. It's Chloe! Sarah, what's with your cousin? I don't know. Let me talk to him. Um, would you guys give us a minute? He's all yours. Come on, Chloe. I really think you need to follow the book, Chase. Right, right. You got it. Now, what page were we on? Oh, oops. Oh, would you look what happened. Well, so much for that book. Here, you can have mine. Oh, I couldn't, Sarah. What would you use? I'll get another one. Oh, okay. Thanks. Let's take a break. There's lots of stuff we gotta do before the celebration. And I think maybe we've had enough practice for right now. I know I have. I'll second that. Titan, Bolt, A, B, and H. A, B, and H. Hey, Sarah. Looks like this is gonna be a big party. Oh, yeah, a couple hundred people at least. And a big barbecue to feed them. Mm. If I can ever get this new grill together. Sarah! Your mom's on the phone! Chase, can you help me out with this? Yeah, sure. No sweat. Great! Here you go. No sweat. <sighs> oh, here are the directions! Mm. I got as far as page 20. Thanks, Chase! Page 20. Titan belt, er, bolt, A, B, and E? Attach girl, girl. Oh, attach grill to part five. Easy for you to say. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll just follow the picture. All right! Chase, that looks great. Thanks. All ready to go. What's this stuff? Yeah, I had a few parts left over, but I don't think they're important. This baby's solid. <laughs> Maybe they were important. Did you follow the instructions? Well, of course I followed the instructions. Most of them, anyway. Hey, nice job, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, Shep? Nothing is, Tini. But they're laughing. They're laughing at Chase. Being laughed at is never funny. Oh, and I guess you could have done better? Hmm, let me think. Yes? yes. Good, then you do it. Hey! Where's Chase? Don't I know. Don't ask I don't me. Know. Come on, let's go find him. Do we have to? He's gonna make us look lame on TV. Will wants all the riders in the show. Chase, too. I'll check the house. Chase! Any sign of him? No, nothing. Wonder where he could be. Not here, either. He was probably so embarrassed, he ran away. Center, turn, canter, turn, turn to the Shh. night. No, to the right. Wall, um, walk, five, eight steps, and... Uh. Did you hear that? Yeah, what's his problem? I don't think he can read. Step and spot, step and stop, step and trot. <gasps> Chloe, you're right. I have an idea. 24 steps, then... There's so much here. I'll never finish this thing in time. Oh, Chase! 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 Chase!
Che! Oh, there you are. What are you doing in here? Everyone's waiting for you. Just looking for the handbook. You know, that Sarah gave me. Oh, <laughs> here it is. What do you know? Now, how did it get there? Hmm, can't imagine. Okie doke, I'm all set now. Okay, everybody, move to. Oh, move three. Oh, move three, Chase. From page three, Chase. All right, hold up. Hey, Chloe, I think that was my part of the routine. It was? Oh. Well, you didn't do your move when you were supposed to, so we thought we'd better... Step in? So you wouldn't mess it up for everyone else. I was just about to do it. Of course you were. You've studied the moves. In fact, why don't you show us? Do it like it's written, right there. All right. What's he doing? Next, move forward. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Wait, no. Turn to right. You can do it, Chase. And that completes movie move three. Hmm. What's wrong? Chase? Chase! Chase, what's going on with you? Nothing, Sarah. It's not important. But what are we supposed to do about the show? Just do it without me. Come on, follow the book and it'll be fine. No, it won't be fine. What is it with you and the book? Why don't you want to read it? Chase, I'm your cousin. Tell me. You promise you won't tell anybody? I promise. It's kinda hard for me to read, Sarah. I mean, I can read. It's just, it takes me longer than everybody else. I have dyslexia. Okay. Do you know what that means? It means I see words differently than you do. It takes me more time to read. Sure, a lot of people are dyslexic, Chase. I have a good friend who is. Yeah, but... It's nothing to be ashamed of, and nothing you need to hide. It is, if I don't want people to laugh at me. It doesn't matter what people think, that's what my friend says. Just give yourself the time you need to read at your own speed. But my speed is... slow. So, like my friend says, walk through the words, don't gallop, we'll wait for you. What do you say? Give it another try? Okay, one more try. Well, where is he? He'll be here. Yeah, right. Sure. Here he is. Let's get back to it. You ready, Chase? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, then. Oh! Treating him like he's some hero. I know. So what do we do now? He needs to be put in his place is all. Hey, nice work, Chase. Considering. Considering what? Oh, you know, your little secret. What are you talking about? Oh, just the fact that 
You can't read. <laughs> Sarah told? Hey, Sarah, thanks for keeping your word, cuz. What are you talking about? Look hey! out! Chase, wait! You have to believe me, Chase. I didn't tell anyone. I don't care. I'm out of here. But what about the show? We need you. Sorry. Can't help you there. Oh, Chase. He's leaving? But we were counting on him. And he had gotten it together perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Just what are you two laughing at? Your cousin, of course. Chase can't read. <laughs> Chase can read. He's a brilliant guy. He makes people laugh. But he never laughs at them like you do. Oh, well, like there's anything wrong with laughing at people. I see it on TV all the time. The internet, too. That doesn't make it right. How would you feel if people were laughing at you? Not possible. Hello? Have you forgotten that one parade you were in a couple years ago? Chloe, you were mounting chili and your pants split wide open. A lot of people laughed then. Oh, that was the worst. Do you remember how it felt? It felt horrible. Ugh, I was so angry with the crowd for laughing at my sister. So humiliating. Look, guys, we're a team here at Horseland, and that means we pull together. We don't laugh at each other. Hey, guys, how's the practice going? Will, we gotta talk. Hey, Chase. Hi, Will. So Bailey tells me you did some fine riding today. Yeah. Too bad you can't stay and ride at the celebration. Right, too bad. Well, see you around, I guess. Right, I guess. Before you head out, I want to share something with you. Sort of a going away present. Yeah, what's that? Nothing much. Just some words. Something my grandpa wrote for me. Once when I was in your boots. For the ride we're on, we take trails as they come. We gallop some, we walk some, for the ride we're on. We keep eyes on the path, take our time, pay no mind to anything else. Don't worry what others think. Keep your eye on the path for this ride we're on. You read slow. Yep. Like I do. Does that mean will? Are you trying to tell me that you're... Dyslexic? Yep. Have been all my life. My grandpa was, too. You're the friend Sarah told me about. That'd be me. What do you do about it? How do you handle it? My grandpa said reading's like riding a trail through new country. You walk along the words nice and easy. You don't try to gallop. You keep your eyes on the path. Never know how it's going to twist and turn. You take the time you need. And you never worry what anyone thinks or says. Anyway, that's what my grandpa said. He was right. And we were wrong. We want you to know we're sorry. Really sorry. We shouldn't have laughed at you. It was a lousy thing to do. Yeah, see, at first we were just worried we'd look bad because you and Wonder look so good. But then we saw what a good writer you really are. And if we work together, we'll all look good for the TV cameras. Chase, will you ride with us, please? Wonder how it'd be if you three worked together. Chase helping with the writing. Oh. Chloe and Zoe helping with the reading. Like a team. Sounds good to me. Pig's okay now. 
You're not laughing, Angora. No, not anymore. Come on, Teeny. The party's about to start, and that means yummy scraps for us. <laughs> There's nothing funny about laughing at somebody. If you see a friend doing it, ask him to stop. If you see it on TV or the internet, turn it off. Let's make this world a nicer place. Why do horses smell? Because they have noses. No, really. Because all horses just smell. Hey, do not. That fragrance Teeny smelling is Aztec's hoof salve. Angora, how can you say all horses smell? It's just not true. In fact, it's what we call a stereotype. What's a stereotype, Shep? Stereotypes are ideas about members of a group other than your own, which you apply to all members of that group, rather than evaluating them as individuals. Oh. For example, just because you're a pig doesn't mean everything I've heard about pigs is going to be true about you. That doesn't make sense. If it looks like a pig and walks like a pig and oinks like a pig, then it's going to act like a pig. And just how do pigs act, Angora? They eat everything in sight, and they're always dirty. Teeny isn't a glutton or a slob. Well, all right. Teeny is different. That's the problem with stereotyping. Individuals are different. For example, it's a stereotype that all cats are sweet and friendly, but I know one cat who has... She's late. Maybe the traffic was bad. It's always bad. About time you showed up. The new girl will be arriving any second now. Her name is Noni Cloud. What kind of a name is that? I think it's American Indian. Oh, please, not another princess. Two are enough. What do you mean? You know, like Pocahontas. If you ask me, two princesses are too, too many. I heard the new horse is a paint. They're beautiful. Good thing our owners love us for who we are. I can't imagine why. <laughs> Good one, Pepper. All I can say about this new horse, it better not be arrogant. Or high maintenance. You mean like you two? <laughs> Good one, Aztec. You can laugh all you want, but you know what they say about paints. What's that? No discipline, no attention to detail, no... Come on, Pepper. That's just stereotyping. You know very well there's been a lot of paints who are highly disciplined jumping champions. So? I hear paints are really high strung. I hear they're cold and standoffish, too. What if the newbie tries to take over the stable? I say we let this newbie know who's boss, A-S-A-P. Well, I say we wait and see. Lose the truck, keep the trailer. You're so right. A piece of junk like that shouldn't be allowed on the road, let alone at a classy place like Horseland. Shows what you know. That truck's a classic, and that means classy in my book. I'm Bailey. Welcome to Horseland. Thank you. I'm Nani. Really, really great to meet you, Nani. <gasps> wow. This is Sunburst. Look at those markings. Oh, he's so beautiful. After we put Sunburst in the stable, I'll introduce you around. Everyone's here except Will. He's at a rodeo. And Molly, she's on a field trip with her school. Sunburst, why don't you get acquainted while I meet the girls? Where are you from? Are you a fast runner? What do you like best, jumping or dressage? Whoa, one at a time. 
Is it true your home's on the range where the gophers and the wild turkeys play? <laughs> Say what? Cool it, Pepper. Don't listen to Chili. You go, Pepper. <laughs> You're no fun. No, Pepper. My home was not on the range where the gophers and the wild turkeys play. I grew up on a ranch, and then I lived in a very nice stable. Not quite as nice as Horseland, of course. That's nice of you to say. I'm Scarlet, and this is Button, and this is Calypso, and this is Aztec. Hi, Sunburst. What's your owner like? Nani's wonderful. Very calm and patient. She never gets mad at me. Do you like dressage or jumping? I like everything, even Western. Gee, is there anything you don't like? Saddles. I am not fond of saddles. Zoe, Chloe, aren't you going to help set up? Sorry, second coat isn't dry yet. Thanks for helping us set up. We have a cross-country show next week and we really need the practice. Is it okay if I practice with you? Sure. Hey, everybody, Nani is going to practice with us. Good. Cool. If I'm good enough, do you think I could be part of your team? Yes. No. After we practice for a while, we always have a mini competition to see who will be the team leader. Okay, sounds good. But heads up, Zoe's had the job since she started at Horseland. Wow, Zoe, that's great. I'm really impressed. By the way, there's something I should mention. What? I ride bareback. <gasps> That's awfully dangerous. But I know what I'm doing. I've been riding bareback since I was six. I always wear a helmet, too. I feel freer that way. Sunburst likes it, too. He's worn saddles before. He just doesn't like them. Indians always ride bareback. It's not fair to the rest of us. Oh, stuff it, Zoe. Why do they call you Indians anyway? I mean, Indians live in India. Shouldn't they call your people something else? They do. Native Americans. Whatever. Are we going to get ready for practice or not? Let's do it! Great. Let's finish getting these jumps set up. Oh, I wish we could help. But our nails aren't dry yet. Oh, brother. You know you'll have to use a saddle to be part of the team competition, right? No problem. Sunburst will adjust. I hate having that big strap tied around my body. Better get used to it. Everyone wears a saddle around here. To each his own. Saddles just aren't my thing. What a big baby. Do you hate wearing horseshoes, too? Don't pay any attention to her, Sunburst. Pepper got up on the wrong side of the stall this morning. Just like she has every single morning since the day she got here. It's nice around here. Reminds me of my uncle's ranch. Don't get me wrong, I love the city. But I sure miss open spaces. Do your people still live in teepees? Seems like they get kind of cold in the winter. Sorry to disillusion you, but my ancestors lived in log houses with thatched roofs, not teepees. Now we live in modern houses with internet connections and cable TV. We even have something called plumbing. That's pretty. Did you make it? This was made by a famous Zuni artist, but I'm not Zuni. I'm a citizen of the Cherokee Nation. Cherokee Nation? I thought you were part of this country. Yes and no. The Cherokees have a nation within a nation, with its own government, its own laws, and its own language. Uh, say something in Cherokee. Uwodehi agehusta. Well, your language sounds funny. What's the use of speaking a language no one else can understand anyway? And exactly how many languages do you speak, Zoe? Uh, one. So what? Don't you know being multilingual is valuable? That's why I'm learning Spanish and French. Vous êtes très jolie, Zoe. What did you say? I told Zoe that she is very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when people talk behind my back. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Wait, come back. What about our cross-country practice? I'm taking a nice long break. You and the newbie will get along just fine without me. Good luck in the competition. Zoe's our best cross-country eventer. We can't let her drop out. Where is Zoe? All the other kids have gotten their horses and tacked up. 
Where could she be? The newbies drove Zoe away. Ugh. How dare they? That's not what happened, Angora. Zoe was rude to Nani. Oh, really? I suppose calling Zoe some strange name and laughing at her behind her back wasn't rude? <gasps> That's not rude. It's mean. But it wasn't like that. Now I'm really mad. Nice riding pants, Nani. Thanks. I just got them. I guess I thought you'd be wearing buckskins and moccasins. Pretty silly, huh? Yeah, because it's a stereotype. Nani is Native American, so you expected her to dress a certain way. Sorry about that, Nani. I hope I didn't come off like Zoe. Not at all. Believe me, no one comes off like Zoe. Not even Chloe. Thanks. I think. Maybe I should try to talk Zoe into practicing with us. It's just not the same without her. I'll go with you. We'll all go. Don't bother. When Zoe gets in a snit, no one can get her out of it except Zoe herself. I've seen it. I'd have to agree. Will you talk to her later, Chloe? Sure, but it probably won't do much. Thanks. Okay, practice time. Show us your stuff, Nani. Hmm, the newbie's not bad. She rides better without a saddle than I do with. She's good. Almost as good as Zoe. She's not as good as me, though. Chili, why'd you back down? Chloe, I think I know what the problem is. Tell me. You're not holding your elbows tight enough to your sides, which makes it harder to keep control of your horse. And you need to keep your heels down in the stirrups. Try it again. Thanks, Nani. She knows what she's talking about. Hey, Zoe, the new girl really knows riding. What do you expect? Indians grow up riding horses. All of them? You know what I mean. Every time you see a picture of an Indian, they're riding a horse. That's why she's so good. And now she's trying to take my place on the team. No, she's not. She's just trying to do her best. Isn't this sport all about competing and being good at what you do? If I were skilled enough, I'd be team captain, not you. At least you're one of us. If you're really serious about sitting this one out, the team will be okay. Nani's definitely good enough to fill in for you. Oh, all right. Let's go. Nani, you are really good. Don't tell me it just came naturally. <laughs> no, I had to work just as hard as anybody. I was lucky that where I rode before, cross country meant riding across actual countryside. Warthogs, gopher holes and all. What's the big diff? After all, a jump is a jump, right? Wrong. In the arena, you're going round and round on a series of the same old jumps that try to emulate the real thing. No surprises, no excitement, and no fun. But the show we're entering next week is an indoor cross-country course, a lot like this one. Can't you see the irony of an indoor cross-country course? What an oxymoron. <laughs> Excuse me, what was that comment about me? If the boot fits... Hello, I always go first. How'd you get her to come out? I told her Nani could fill in for her. She didn't like that. She may be a pain in the tail section, but she is really good. See, it's her best event. Hey Zoe, you're a good competitor. Nothing wrong with that. I like to compete too. Maybe we should find out who does it best. How about a real cross-country race? Winner leads the team. Hmm. Why not? Sounds like fun. Can I ride bareback? Nope. You have to wear a saddle like the rest of us. Oh, okay. But I'll need to walk the course first. Cross-country's dangerous. If either of you fall, you or your horse could get hurt. Zoe, maybe we should just use the jumps we've already got set up in the arena. Your choice. Then a real cross-country race it is. This time tomorrow, don't be late. 
Pepper and I know that course by heart. No matter how many times you walk it, Corinne says, you'll never know it better than we do. Now this is a three mile course with 24 obstacles, but you two are doing the mini course I showed Nani yesterday. Half a mile with five obstacles. Ready? Ready. Remember, two riders are not allowed to jump the same obstacle at the same time. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Good luck, Zoe. May the best rider win. Are you trying to psych me out? Whatever it is you're doing, it won't work. On your mark, get set, go! Zoe thinks she's doing. She's pushing Pepper way too hard. You're supposed to start slow and save your speed for the finish. She's coming up on the log fence. Zoe's way ahead of her personal best. That's gotta be hard on Pepper. I don't know if Pepper can take it. What's Chloe mean, Shep? She means Zoe is pushing Pepper way too hard. Why? Don't be so thick, Teeny. She has to be the newbie or she won't be team leader anymore. Stonewall coming up. Hee ya, Pepper. Go, boy. Zoe's still running way ahead. How long can she keep this up? Nani's staying back. Smart. Here they come. Looks like Zoe's slowing down. And Nani's catching up. They're into the straightaway. Better watch out, sis. She's catching up. Yeehaw, Pepper, yeehaw! <sighs> Whoa, Zoe's really losing it. I think Pepper's getting tired. Nani's going to catch her for sure. And you know what's coming up? The, the coffin. coffin. Why do they call it a coffin anyway? Maybe because the ditch looks just the right size to put a coffin in? That's creepy. Here comes Zoe. She's galloping. She knows she's supposed to canter. Are you okay? How's Pepper? Somehow, I'm okay. But I'm worried about Pepper. She's okay. Go, Pep. The race isn't over yet. I can't believe my own sister would do that. We, we can. can. Zoe ran a great race. I messed up and you know it. Oh, come on, Zoe. Sure, you lost on points because of your fault at the coffin, but your time was still really good despite that. Bottom line, I lost and I broke a nail too. Wait, I enjoyed competing with you, but Zoe, I don't want to be the team captain. Being team leader is a job for someone with experience who knows the course, the competition, and all the capabilities of the team. That's not me. That's you. What kind of girl are you? You're not at all what I expected. I'm a Horseland kind of girl, just like you. What's up, Pep? Thought you were fearless. Not my fault. If that newbie hadn't been stomping on my back hooves, I would have been just fine. Please, I was three lengths behind you up until the end. Pepper, are you sure Zoe didn't have something to do with it? Like pushing you a little too hard? No, it wasn't her fault. 
Pepper, I really admire your loyalty. Lots of horses would blame their owners, but you stand up for her. That's really great. You think? What's the big deal about a couple of horses sidestepping together anyway? It's called teamwork. Something you wouldn't know much about, I'm afraid. If Zoe stays civilized, Horseland could have a good shot at winning the next pairs competition. The Horseland team sweeping the cross-country competition really helped her accept Nani, especially since Zoe was the high scorer. They work well together. Just what we needed, another mutual admiration society. <laughs> Would you like to form a mutual admiration society with me, Angora? Not on your life. The only person I'd form a mutual admiration society with is myself. Why can't Angora be nice like other cats I've met? She definitely breaks the typical nice cat stereotype. Anyway, we've learned that any stereotyping is wrong. Angora is an individual teeny. And a feisty one at that. <laughs> <laughs>